Hi everybody, it's Dr. Bobby from What If Your Wellness, and I'm here to talk to you today about whiplash and car accidents. And I know, um, you know, most of us have been in a car accident before, and I know my experience was that I thought I was fine. And um, you know, sometimes you feel it right away that you have stiffness and soreness and headaches and you know fatigue and all those different things that go along with a whiplash syndrome. Um, and sometimes you know that right away, but sometimes it takes days um, till you feel the soreness and sometimes even months before you feel um, what's going on in there. So I would highly recommend that basically right after, you know, if you have um, a need for emergency care, I would definitely recommend that you go to the emergency room and get checked out first. But I would also recommend as soon as you possibly can, get to your local chiropractor and allow um, the chiropractor who's a specialist in the nervous system and the structure of the spine to be able to tell you if there were some structural changes due to that car accident. Now a lot of times I know, you know, if you had a car accident where the car was totaled, you'd probably think, yeah, I probably need to get checked out. But sometimes when the car accident is going at speeds of 20 miles an hour per le or less, you might not think that you need to get checked out as much. And one thing I would caution you there is that because the speed is lower, tends to not impact the car as much as it does the actual contents inside the car, and that would be you. You are one of the contents inside the car. So it tends to be that you get more of the actual impact because the car didn't take as much of the impact. So hopefully that helps you to understand why you'd want to get checked after a um, a slow speed uh, collision like that. So of course you want to get checked if you're, um, you know, going at rapid speeds um, because you're probably going to whip around where you're whipping from front to back or side to side, however it happens, but it's going to stretch the ligaments of the, of the neck past their normal ranges of motion. And when that happens, that it, it doesn't um, want to hold your neck in the position that it should be, which is a nice, graceful curve like that. Okay, your neck should have a curve in it. If you want to go back to that video of proper neck health, um, check that out. I show how it has a nice curve in there, and that gives the neck bounce. When you have a car accident, it tends to straighten the neck because those ligaments don't hold it into that nice nice curve that you did have, and now then everything's going to wear and tear a lot faster. All right, I hope that helps you. I would recommend you get to your chiropractor right away. Get it checked because not only can it affect um, the, how well the neck moves, um, but it can also affect whether you're having headaches or mental fogginess or vertigo and dizziness and shoulder and, and, um, and actual arm pain and hand pain and, and carpal tunnel syndrome type of issues. Even jaw pain can be related um, as well as um, ear infections and all kinds of different things like that can definitely be related to the health of your cervical spine and your nervous system. All right, hope that helps you. Uh, we will be back with more information uh, very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.